Hello everyone, in this video we will learn all about trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side lengths and angles of triangles. Now, given this right triangle and the reference angle is the angle at the bottom, the side across is considered as the opposite side and the side connected to that angle is considered as its adjacent side. Well, of course, the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Now, the same thing, if the reference angle is the angle at the top, the side across is considered as its opposite side and the side connected to that angle is the adjacent side. Well, of course, the side opposite the right angle is its hypotenuse. So take note of this. Given this right triangle ABC with the right angle at B, the hypotenuse here is side AC, the side adjacent to angle A is side AB, the side opposite of angle A is side BC, the side adjacent to angle C is side BC, and the side opposite of angle C is side AB. To identify the six trigonometric functions, let's take note of the famous mnemonics SO KA TOA KAO SHA CHO. This stands for SO, that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, KA, that's cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, TOA is tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, Kao, that's cotangent, is equal to adjacent over opposite. Sha, that's second, is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And Cho, that's for cosecant, is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Now, take note, sine, cosine, and tangent are considered as primary functions, while cotangent, second, and cosecant are considered as secondary trigonometric functions. Now, take note of this, sine and cosecant, opposite over hypotenuse, it's reversed here, hypotenuse over opposite. So the same thing for cosine and second, they are also reverses with each other. And tangent and cotangent are also inverses of each other. Now take note of this pairing here, it's considered as inverse functions. Now again, inverse functions are sine and cosecant, cosine and second, and tangent and cotangent. Now, given this right triangle with side lengths 3, 4, and 5, we have here our angle theta as our reference. Opposite to this angle here, we have 4, and the adjacent side is 3, and of course, 5 here is the hypotenuse. So, let's identify the six trigonometric functions. So, sine, so that's so, opposite over hypotenuse, that's 4 over 5, cosine, that's ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 3 over 5, Toa for tangent, so opposite 4 over 3. Cotangent, that's cow, so it's 3 over 4. Second, that's hypotenuse over adjacent, so that's 5 over 3. And cosecant, that's 5 over 4. Another example. Now, given this right triangle here, we have here angle beta. So, 12 here is adjacent to beta. Opposite is 5, and the hypotenuse here is unknown. So to solve for the hypotenuse is we can make use of the Pythagorean theorem, in which we can have 5 squared plus 12 squared. So simplifying this, we will have the square root of 169, or which is 13. So our hypotenuse here is 13. So let's identify the six trigonometric functions. For sine beta, so opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 5 over 13. Cosine, that's ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, 12 over 13. Toa, it's opposite over adjacent, so that would be 5 over 12. Cotangent beta, so that would be ka, adjacent over opposite, so that's 12 over 5. Second beta, that's sha, so that's 13 over 12. And of course, we'll have cosecant beta, which is hypotenuse over opposite, so it's 13 over 5. Let's have this. If sine theta is equal to 11 over 61, find the rest of the six trigonometric functions. So take note, sine theta, it's 11 over 61. 
the inverse of sine is cosecant. So if this is 1161, let's reverse this. 4 cosecant, so 61 over 11. Now take note, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if this is our theta here, so opposite, so this will become 11. Our hypotenuse here is 61. So to find the missing leg, we can make you steal of the Pythagorean theorem, in which we can have 61 squared minus 11 squared. So simplifying further, the square root of 3,600, so that would be 60. So the missing leg here is 60. So for cosine, so that's ka, so adjacent over hypotenuse, so that would be 60 over 61. Now take note, the reverse of cosine is second. So if this is 60, 61, second then will be 61 over 60. Then tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that would be 11 over 60. So reverse to that is cotangent, so this would become 60 over 11. Okay, let's have this. Find the missing side length of the triangle. So we have here 38 degrees as the reference angle. So x here is opposite and 20 here is adjacent. So the trigonometric function that would relate A and O, so that would be tangent. So that would mean tangent 38 degrees, it's x over 20. So let's cross multiply to solve for x, so that would become 20 tangent 38 degrees. So making use of your calculators, so tangent 38 degrees times 20, so that's approximately 15.6. Another example. So we have here 56 degrees as the angle. So 32 here is hypotenuse and x here is adjacent with respect to 56 degrees. So making use of a and h, so we can make use of cosine. So cosine 56 is equal to x over 32. So let's cross multiply this. So 32 cosine 56 degrees, so the value for x here is 17.9. Another example, we have here 27 degrees and we have x and 14. So x here is hypotenuse and 14 is the opposite of 27 degrees. So we have O and h, so we can make use here of sine. So sine 27 here, uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 14 over x. So cross multiply, so that would become 14 over sine 27 degrees. So simplifying, we will end up with 30.8. Let's have this. Find the trigonometric values of the following. So sine 50 degrees, so making use of your calculator. So this approximately 0 0.7660. Now cosine 37 degrees and 20 minutes. So that's approximately 0 0.79. 51. Now, how to use your calculators with this? So, that would be cosine 37. You press the degree, minute, and seconds. Then 20. Then degree, minutes, and second key. After that, you press equal. You will end up with this answer. Okay. Now, the same thing for tangent 120 degrees, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds. That's approximately negative 1.6973. Another, for second 78 degrees, so this is 4.8097. Now, how to make use of your calculators in doing this? Now, take note, second here is a secondary function. So, to do that, use the inverse function. So, take note, the inverse of second is cosine. So, you use cosine 78 degrees, then you press equal. Then, after that, you press the inverse key, which is x to the negative 1, or that would be 1 over x, then equal. So, you will end up with 4.8097. So, the same thing here for number 5, cosecant 57 degrees and 29 degrees. So, take note, the inverse of cosecant is sine. So, you use the inverse of cosecant, which is sine. So, we will end up with this. Given this triangle here, 
we have the reference angle theta. So five here is an opposite and four here is an adjacent. Relating this two, we can make it of tangent. So tangent theta, it's equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's five over four. Solving for theta, so this would become arc tan five over four. Making use of your calculators, this is 51.34 degrees or 51 degrees, 20 minutes and 24.59 seconds. Now, how to use your calculators in finding the value of angle theta? So with this, start with 5 over 4, then equals, then you press shift tan equals, then you press degree, minute, and second key. We will end up with this. Another example. So we have here a reference angle theta. So 3 here is adjacent and 7 here is hypotenuse. Relating this two, we can make use of cosine. So cosine theta, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 3 over 7. So solving for theta, so it's arc cosine 3 over 7. Using your calculator, so this is 64 degrees, 37 minutes, and 23.04 seconds. Another example, so sine theta is equal to 4 over 8. Solving for theta, so this is arc sine 4 over 8. This is actually 30 degrees. Another example, so second theta is 13 over 5. So solving for theta, this is Arc second, 13 over 5. Using your calculators, this is 67 degrees, 22 minutes, and 48.49 seconds. Now, how to do this one? Considering second as a secondary function. So, to do this, 13 over 5, then equals, then use the inverse key, then equals, then shift cosine equals, then press degree, minute, and second key. So, why cosine? Because the inverse of second is cosine. Another example, cosecant theta is equal to 1.75. So theta here is arc cosecant 1.75. Now take note, the inverse of cosecant is sine. So with this, value for theta is 34 degrees, 50 minutes, and 59.66 seconds. Co-functions are complementary functions. So with this, we have sine A is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus A. The other one is tangent A is equal to cotangent 90 minus A. And second A is the same with cosecant 90 minus A. So for example, if you're given sine 20 degrees, it is just the same with cosine 70 degrees. So sine and cosine are cofunctions. 20 plus 70, that's 90 degrees. So Making use of your calculators, if you get the value of this, it is approximately 0.34. Another, tangent 30 degrees is the same with cotangent 60 degrees. So tangent and cotangent are cofunctions. 30 plus 60, this is 90 degrees. So if you use your calculators, getting the value of this, it's 0 0.58. And the last, we have your second 45 degrees, it's the same with cosecant 45 degrees. So second and cosecant are co-functions. 45 plus 45, that's 90 degrees. So using your calculators, the values here, it's 1.41. So take note of this, co-functions. Okay, now given this, we have here triangle AFG, triangle AHI, and triangle ADB. So this angle A here, this is 30 degrees. So let's fill up this table here. So for the first triangle, F to G here, this is equivalent to 3. So 1, 2, 3, A to F. So counting, we will have 6. So FG over AF, that's 3 over 6 or 1 half. Next, HI, we count here, this is 5. A to H, when we count all of this, the result here is 10. So HI over AH, this is 5 over 10, or still it is 1 half. Next, for the third triangle, B to D, this is equivalent to 7. And counting A to D, this is 14. So DB over AD, that's 7 over 14, or this is 1 half. Now take note of this, FG over AF, this is actually opposite over hypotenuse. So basically, sine 30 degrees is always one half regardless of how big or how small the triangle is. Now let's derive the trigonometric functions for 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Now take note in a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if the shortest side here is one, 
So the hypotenuse is 2 and to get the opposite of 60 degrees by Pythagorean theorem that's square root of 3. So with this sine 30, so opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 1 over 2. So cosine 30, so that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so square root of 3 over 2. Tangent 30, that's opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over square root of 3. Or rationalizing this, this is square root of 3 over 3. So cotangent 30, it's the reverse of tangent 30, so that's square root of 3. Second 30 degrees, it's the reverse of cosine 30, so 2 square root of 3 over 3. And the reverse of sine 30, that's cosecant 30, so it's 2. Now for 60 degrees, sine 60 degrees, so the square root of 3 over 2. So cosine 60 here, so that's adjacent over 2, so that's 1 half. So tangent 60, so opposite over adjacent, so that's square root of 3. So simply reverse to get cotangent, so square root of 3 over 3. Second 60, it's 2. And cosecant 60, that's 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now take note of this. Sine 30 and cosine 60 are co-functions. Sine and cosine. And 30 plus 60, that's 1 half. So take note of that. So the same thing also with the other co-functions. Like cosine 30 and sine 60. Tangent 30 and cotangent 60. Second 30 and cosecant 60. And so on. Trigonometric ratio for 45 degrees. Now, in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, so if one leg here is 1, the other leg is also 1, and the hypotenuse here is square root of 2. So to get sine 45, so that would be 1 over square root of 2, rationalizing it, that's square root of 2 over 2. So cosine 45, it's the same thing. For tangent 45, that would be 1 over 1 or simply 1. So cotangent, it's still 1. For second, that's square root of 2 over 1 or square root of 2. So the same thing for cosecant 45. So sine 45, cosine 45, they are co-functions and they have equal values as well. So basically, these are the trigonometric functions and special angles for 30, 45, and 60. So take note of this. So you can derive this or you can make use of your calculators in getting this one. So, sine 30 plus cosine 30, so sine 30, that's 1 half, plus square root of 3 over 2, so that's 1 plus square root of 3 over 2. Another, cosine 60 minus second 60, so cosine 60 is 1 half, second 60 is 2, so subtract them, the result is negative 3 over 2. So, cosine 60 minus sine 30 multiplied with tangent 45 divided by cotangent 45, so substituting, this is 1 half minus 1 half. And 1 divided by 1. So this is 0 multiplied by 1, or basically it is 0. Now, these are trigonometric values of acute angles. So we have here angles from 0 until 90 degrees. So for sine 0, you get 0. Sine 1 degree, that this is the value. Sine 10 degrees, you have this. Sine 20 degrees, you have this, and so on. This is for cosine. This is for tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. Now take note here. Sine 20 degrees, it has the same value with cosine 70 degrees. So the take note, they are cofunctions. So tangent 10 degrees and cotangent 80 degrees are also cofunctions. They are, they have equal values. Second 40 degrees and cosecant 50 degrees, they also have the same value because they are cofunctions. Now take note of this. As the angle increases from 0 to 90 degrees, the sine values also increases from 0 until 1. The cosine values decreases from 1 going to 0. Then for tangent, it increases its value from 0 until positive infinity. Cotangent decreases its value from infinity to 0. Then second values increases its value from 1 until infinity. And cosecant values decreases from infinity going to 1. Another, signs of the six trigonometric functions. So take note in the first quadrant, all trigonometric functions, it's positive. In the second quadrant, only sine and cosecant are positive, the rest are negative. In the third quadrant, only tangent and cotangent are positive. 
And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine and secant are positive. So take note of this mnemonics, STC. So take note in the first quadrant, everything is positive. So S stands for sine. In the second quadrant, it's positive. T, tangent in the third quadrant, it's positive. C, this is cosine in the quattro quadrant, it's positive. The angle of elevation and angle of depression. The first picture shows the angle of elevation. It is an angle between the horizontal line and the observer's line of sight on object above the horizontal. The second picture shows the angle of depression. It is an angle between the horizontal line and the observer's line of sight on object below the horizontal. Now take note, angle of elevation and angle of depression are identical since they are considered as alternate interior angle. From a point 17 meters away from a tree, the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 38 degrees. How high is the tree? Now, take note, this is our illustration. And getting our triangle diagram, we will get this one. So, we can make use of tangent here to relate x 17 and 38 degrees. So, tangent 38 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So, that's x over 17. So, cross multiply. So, 17 tangent 38. So, it's 13.28. So, with this, the tree is 13.28 meters high. Another example. From the top of a 108-foot lighthouse, the angle of depression of a boat at the sea is 27 degrees. Find the horizontal distance from the boat to the base of the lighthouse. So, take note, this is the angle of depression. And take note, there are alternate interior angles, so they're congruent. So this is our illustration, and this is our triangle diagram. So given this, we can still make use of tangent to relate the given. So tangent 27 degrees is equivalent to 108 over x. So cross-multiplying, we will get this. So the value for x is 211.96. So with this, the boat is 211.96 feet away from the base of the lighthouse. Another. A boy standing on top of the Eiffel Tower spots a girl in the ground at an angle of depression of 20 degrees. The Eiffel Tower is 300 meters tall. So how far is the girl from the base of the tower? Now take note, this is our illustration and this is our triangle diagram. So, we can still make use of tangent to relate the given. So, tangent 20 degrees is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So, that's 300 over x. Cross multiply, we'll get this. So, the value for x is 824.24 meters. So, with this, the girl is 824.24 meters away from the base of the tower. A guy wire is attached to a newly planted tree to help support the tree while its roots take hold. An 8-foot wire is attached to the tree and to a stake on the ground. From the stake on the ground, the angle of elevation of the connection with the tree is 42 degrees. Find the height of the connection point on the tree. So take note, this is the illustration. This is a triangle diagram. So relating the given, we can make use of sine. So sine theta, that's opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 42 degrees, it's x over 8. Cross multiply, so that would become 8 sine 42. So with this, the value for x is 5.35 feet. So the height of the connection point on the tree is 5.35 feet. Another example. From the height of a tree, if the angle of elevation to the topmost part changes from 25 degrees to 45 degrees, as the observer moves 10 meters closer to the base of the tree. So, this is the illustration. So, let h be the height of the tree. So, our x here is the arbitrary distance from the base of the tree to a point where the angle of elevation is 45 degrees. So, take note, we can make use of this, tangent 45 degrees. It's opposite over adjacent. So, that's 
h over x. So cross multiply, we will get this. So take note, tangent 45 is 1. So our x here is basically h. Now let's relate tangent 25 degrees. So tangent 25 opposite is h. Our adjacent here is 10 plus x. So cross multiplying or substituting our x here, we will replace with h. So with this, this would become tangent 25 degrees plus h tangent 25 is equal to h. So transfer 10 tangent 25 to the other side, it will become negative. Transfer h to the other side, it will become negative. So at this point, factor out h. So this would become h quantity tangent 25 degrees minus 1 is equal to negative tangent negative 10 tangent 25. So divide both sides by tangent 25 minus 1, we will get this. So the value for h here is 8.73. So with this, the height of the tree is 8.73 meters.